and then because that'll start that recording and then I just press start Yes, one more for the game. You have passed the thirteen gates. Thirteen gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Mm-hmm. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet I say. <clears throat> oh boy, I'm so scared. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. Oh. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve <clears throat> in all must fall before you may challenge me. Oh. Jack of Dust, the bandit leader, is stronger and faster than most of bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Oh, jeez. In the ruins of an ancient temple, along... Among the eternally shifting sand dunes lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as a king over the barren lands. Oh my, that does sound awful. So hi guys, welcome to um, Hand of Fate. It's like a card s game, but with a twist. Let the cards fall where they may. <clears throat> Let the cards fall where they may. Okay, so this is us. We this is where we're located. It's like a you have to move kind of thing. So um, we have health, gold, food. And some items in our inventory. <clears throat> uh, so on this one. Mr. Lion. a fan of illusion or pretense. Here I'll make an exception. Okay, so let's learn about Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps you on the shoulder, quite painfully, with his wooden staff to get your attention. And you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. Oh, is that what this is supposed to be, a goblin? Okay. He w his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. <clears throat> My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Uh, he cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for you to answer. Give him bread from your plate. Give him 20 gold. Ask him what he needs. What do you need? Need? I need? I need your... I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and a shield materializes at your feet. 
There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all of his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your, f your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. Oh, okay, I got a shield. Oh, reflect. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. This must be performed while precisely timing as the projectile draws near. Press the Q key to reflect uh, projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Next. Counter. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter their foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicators above the foe's head. Press Q to counter. Shield. Um, shields provide passive damage mitigation. Press Q to reflect projectiles. Okay. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make huh. good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Well, I just might. Thank you, Lionel. Ooh, where to? Let's go this way. Oh, I found the exit. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. But I want to know what the other two cards were. Let's turn back. You turn away from the stairs and keep exploring. Right here. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. <clears throat> Call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down to retrieve the weapon or leave it. Uh, let's climb down, why not? Okay, so I guess I have to get one of the successes and not the failure. Choose from these up. This one. <clears throat> Uh, you climb down to retrieve the weapon. You Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. Uh, you retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. Yay, we get a weapon. An axe. During combat, press left mouse button to swing your axe. Cool. Um, we had a rusty axe before. This one does five more damage. So, yes, equip. A moment to savor. That yes. will make you much more effective. Much more? It was only five damage, friend. The Maiden. Fair Merith. Her name is I'm Merith. I'm surprised hmm. to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day, in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. Oh, she's an elf. Her name is Merith, apparently. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Ask for longer life, ask for supplies, or ask for gold? Huh, we have a lot of food. Longer life, I'm assuming, would restore our health, but we're at full health. Um, we only have ten gold. Let's get gold. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well, if that is what you wish. The dealer draws you three gold gain cards. Okay, so I got three gold. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Mm-hmm. 25 gold. Oh, that's useful. And 30 gold. Oh, my gosh. We are rolling in it. <clears throat> the greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely, and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Okay, so now we can head back towards the stairs. Head downwards, if you dare. Well, I do dare. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. You are on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. I hope he's the last Did one. You defeat me. Well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Ew, look at that. What you're oh, made of. It's gone. Never mind. There was a spider. I don't know if anyone actually caught that, but there was a spider right there. Traveling Tinkerer. Tinker. Sorry, not Tinkerer. <clears throat> In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. 
I'm going to approach the shop, because we do have a fair bit of gold. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Awesome. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're True starting that. to get into the meat of the game now. Oh, is this me? The back oh. and forth between resources and rewards. So do I have anything to sell? I have nothing, right? No. Okay. Back. Um, let's pick up items. Sword? 23 damage. It's not nearly as good as my... Axe, which is 25. This shield is... The same as mine. Oh, healing cap. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. Hmm. Why not? Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another. Exactly. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. Let's go back. We don't really need any food, so we're gonna hold on to the rest of our money. All right. <clears throat> I just wonder, did that auto equip or do I need to equip it? Inventory? You can always review your cards. Oh, okay. Here. It auto equipped. Okay, cool. So this is me, apparently. This is my gear light armor. Defense light. During combat, light armor gives some protection with no penalty to your speed, so I'm guessing heavier armors penalize your speed. Okay. I will remember that, hopefully. Alright, let's continue onward. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm oh. sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Uh, why would you say that? <clears throat> While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Draw one monster card. A three of dust. There was that spider again. What is a three of dust? I suppose we're about to find out. Oh, I see. It's giving me all my equipment. Oh, I put my helmet on. It gives me my shield and my axe and my gold, apparently. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Okay, so you move Hit with the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Okay, so we move with W, A, S, and D. Similar. That's normal. Attack, stun, space is to dodge roll, and Q is to counter. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! This is kind of cool. Oh, was that the was that the counter? Oh, I want to try the. Okay, so that's not the counter. What am I doing wrong? I. Oh, am I not hitting Q properly? Hold on, swing at me. Ah. Ah, now I understand. I, I understand what the problem is. This is really cool. Oh, get wrecked, even though I lost half of my health doing that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God, that guy had bugs in him or something. There's that spider again right there. Squish him. Oh. Uh, you recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three gain cards. Um, armory. Draw three, select one to keep. Okay. A sword, a shield, a shield. They're all the same. The most fundamental symbol of might for an age. I'll keep it, but I'm not going to equip it. No. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Yes, it's what I'm going to do. I gain three foods. So that's useful. Oh, okay, I gained five foods. That's eight food in total that we gained. That's awesome. I would have loved to have gained health or something, if that was even possible. But um, I think we'll have to make do with what we have. So, a winding An trail. Ambush. Hardly fair, is it? This is not another ambush, is it? Oh, no. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking your way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders' faces obscured by undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you, or give them your gold. 
Is it greedy to keep my gold? I don't want to kill people. What if they're not bad people? I mean, but they attack. Hmm. Okay, the dilemma is, what if they are good people, but they are in dire straits, so they are trying to rob someone? They don't really want to fight, but they will if they have to. So if I give them my gold, but all of it, 33 gold... <sighs> Do I need it, though? Oh, let's go for it. Why not? You shout a battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. This is another three of dust that we have to fight. I love the scenery. I love that they wait for me to get all my items before they come running over here. That is useful. Okay, so now I can move. This combat system's a little FPS laggy, but still, it's really cool. At least I didn't take much damage, or any damage, I don't know, from that. You search the bodies for loot. The dealer gains, gives you three gain cards. One equipment. Another axe. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. A peasant's weapon. Are you calling me a peasant? More food, that's lovely. Some health would be nice. Oh, more food, okay. Cool. Um, is it possible to change the graphics a bit? Graphics. Is there a little bit laggy? Oh, great. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Oh. Oh, clever metal. Ha, I get it. That is, that this is clever. This will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Oh. So are these the thing, the tokens that are at stake? Okay, so we get three if we defeat him. That's cool. Alright, can we do this? Alright. Four and he's got four of dust with him? Oh god. Oh. Wow, he looks buff as heck. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way. Or stop them with your own counter attack. Wow. Oh my god, this is cheating. I'm pressing space to roll and he's not rolling. There we go. Oh, I might die here. Temper, temper! So when he glows, that's when he's his abilities become unblockable. Gotcha. That makes sense. I 
very easy when it's just the two of us. Oh, I'm so close to dying. Oh god, he gets me with that every time because I'm never, like, quick enough. Okay, so now he should attack normally. Yep. Oh, I did it. Thank goodness. Oh. Down into the worms with him. Fifteen health Perhaps left. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. What does that As mean? you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Oh, God. So let's open this. As a reward for defeating Bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. Jack of Skulls. Dead King's Hall. Local Peasant. Devil's Choice. River. And Captain of the Guards. Add those to our deck. Open these. We also get these cards. Medium Armor. Chains of Rage, Mercy Contact, Contract, Medium Armor again, Fortune's Breath, or Fortitude's Breath, wow, I don't know why I read that wrong, Desperate Measures, cool, some weapons and gear, that looks good. For defeating Bandit Jack, I will give you new challenges, so this is our next challenge. Bandit Attack, oh god. Shall we deal again? 